Hello and thanks for tuning in to this uh, short video on YouTube. It's all about my uh, having my seat recovered and lowered to give me a little bit of purchase on the ground and um, I'm trying to be realistic about my expectations but I'm hopefully it'll, it'll give me a little bit more confidence. Now a quick note on the sound, um, I'm going to mute it in between um, me talking because it's still rather poor big changes on the way with respect to that hopefully that will come in the new year and uh, we'll be able to get much better sound and some interesting uh, visual effects oh dear diesel spill it's uh, a hazard of the roads in December it's one reason why I don't like riding this time of year um, just seems to be all over the place um, as you can see it's it's right in the middle of the line you'd want to be riding not good at all and here it is again another diesel spill or perhaps the same one a bit further up just at the place where you'd be wanting to lean it over a touch to go around the roundabout uh, so you have to be doubly careful at this time of year and also the standard of driving is awful generally speaking Here we are approaching the next hazard which is floods. The authorities don't seem to bother clearing um, the drains of the roads for leaves, leaving many large puddles and uh, greasy areas for people to deal with. Not so much of a problem when you car but a bit more of a hazard for a motorcyclist like myself. But anyway, come back onto dry roads and enjoy the rest of the trip to music.
soft foam there that I can skim it with. All right. Glad you know what you're doing. Gonna have to put some back, some back on there. Yeah. Probably been heat shrunk over there. Yeah. I'll just give it a bit of protection when it's. Yeah, when the rain keep keep moisture out. Yeah. Try not to go into the vinyl. They've got this little little bit of um, material around the edges. Oh which yes, which I prefer to use because once you start going into that, if it ever has to come back up, it'll have holes in it. So right, right. It's a minor thing, but uh, a fuel. Hence, having still have had that much fuel left in the bike. I mean, some of the sport bike seats have got no padding at all, anyway. Very slim, yeah. But I didn't want to over pull it. No, I know what you mean. It's still got that sort of. I didn't want it to go down here. Like no. That. Um, that will flatten out and, and firm up. Yeah. So, forgive the slightly unusual background. I'm at Heligan, uh, where I'm sitting in the kitchen waiting for a nice hot chocolate and a piece of gluten free fuel log. Uh, initial thoughts on the seat, slightly not disappointed, but I guess I might have to moderate my expectations. So it has given me a little bit more reach, um, but I'm still going to be tippy-toeing slightly. But yes, the guy was very nice, and I'll put a, a video of what he was doing, because he's obviously an expert um, at doing what he's doing. The seat looks fine, it's comfortable. Um, yeah, so we'll see how things work out. Next task is to get the bike back home and uh, get it clean because it's filthy even though the roads are dry and actually it's quite exhilarating riding in this these sort of conditions it's um you know it's just too much work to keep the thing in reasonable shape go motor vlogging properly on the way home with recording synced hopefully uh not entirely sure it'll work as uh, all efforts previously have failed miserably but uh, it seems to be working at the moment. Okay. Can I paddle the bike backwards? Oh yeah, fairly effectively. Out of here. Now I'm going to go backwards. The side stands down. There we go. 
that's it. Well, managed my first manoeuvre with the new setup, and it's feasible. Right, let's go. Mercifully dry roads in winter. Always a good thing. See what we get today. So that was my appointment to uh, have the seat recovered uh, and cut down by about an inch, he said. So hopefully that will give me just that little bit more security and confidence. It doesn't feel any less comfortable. Uh, comfortable, that's for sure. Uh, are up. A bit of additional clarity but the chill of the not a checker there's something coming from the right there sometimes it is you tend to think that there won't be but
Okay, so we're nearly home now. Uh, so yeah, that's the iterations for the bike completed. We're now going to go on to some other safety things on it, like heated grips and engine bars. I think are a likely next course of action. So we're getting used to the gear change on this bike, which is better than I remember for when I uh, test rode one of these. <laughs> It's a green light, you know. Not doing anything heroic this morning. Too cold. And I'm going to get past this one because he's driving really slowly. Traffic's a bit heavy on the A390. Whoosh, just doled up for racing. There's some kind of rally going on. Marvellous. There we go. Ten years old and still going. I thought they said they'd run out of batteries after five years. Only practical car, but very cute. Home. Enjoying riding this bike now. Oh god, I am just. Yes. 